<laughs> hello, 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 everybody. What's going on? <laughs> How everybody feeling tonight? The ladies is in the building. Okay. <laughs> Hey y'all. Oh, oh shit. Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what the uh -oh. heck? What the heck? Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's going on? Let me talk to you one night, man. My head just blew oh. overnight. <laughs> <laughs> What is your name tonight, young lady? Oh, mm, what I is your name know. tonight, I, I young gotta lady? You better come up with a name by the end of the show. Yeah, and madam. This is gonna be somebody that come on every week. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, yeah. Somebody say I'm Lucille. Yes, yeah, right. Lucille. <laughs> I'm Lucille. Wait, who said that? <laughs> No, oh, well, I wouldn't be making these dumb up. ass mistakes if I was no, Lucille. Y'all, so. I ain't know she was gonna do this, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I did not know. Did you know, Tamika? <laughs> nah, I didn't know. This no. is a nice. This is a nice treat. This is a nice treat, y'all. <laughs> I got changed it up. Oh, Listen, it's crazy, y'all, because I'm not feeling my best tonight, but I said we here to talk about BMF, you know, what went down and, you know, little predictions, little foreshadowing moments. And I was saying the word of tonight was simple because I'm keeping it real simple. But Inga said, uh -uh, not on my watch. I was saying the ladies going to hold me down. <laughs> So Inga already started it all. That's right. <laughs> What's up, Shayna? Hey, Rashonda. What's up, Demarcus? Thank y'all for coming through. Oh, Lord. Hey, Brown Sugar. Thank you. Hey, Queen. Hey, RD, RD. Hey, Shayna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, God, that's self. a good one. You got to oh, laugh at your okay. own self sometimes. Yes, you, you know, do. As opposed to people laughing you at you, you got to laugh at yourself, you know? Yes. What's up, Lemon Kush Pepper? Thank you for coming through. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like. If you're watching from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you know, go to all the ladies Where and hit that at? like. I'm here. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Michelle Waller, thank you for coming through. So yeah, y'all, we gonna talk about, you know, this BMF, but before we get into BMF, even though I'm late, the ladies already kind of, you know, gave their breakdowns on this whole thing that had Twitter going crazy, YouTube going crazy, just the whole social media going crazy, you know, Moochie did her breaking news, EJ did her little breakdown telling y'all what was going on in the streets and how she was feeling about this, but I didn't get to talk about it yet. Everybody was like, a lot of people was upset. <laughs> A lot of people was upset. A lot of people was in their feelings about this whole, you know, Power Book 2 ghost only, you know, the final season, they're getting two parts. And then we got the news of Power Origin. So I just kind of wanted to go from, you know, Moochie down and see what the ladies was thinking. Do y'all feel the same way since more stuff kind of came out after it first dropped? Or are you feeling different? Do you not give a damn at all? You know, and I'll go last and just talk about what we feeling about this before we get into the BMF? I haven't done really any deep dive on it, but mm -hmm. I am open for the situation. I don't mm -hmm. think this is the last of Tariq unless he goes, maybe he's going to jail, y'all. I just mm -hmm. want to know how they how they round it off, if this mm -hmm. is going to continue to that. Because mm -hmm. if it does, they could still do different parts of that because ghosts and power in the same timeline to me. Mm -hmm. Unless they, I know they said they're doing a prequel. Right. But I want to know if they're going to do be going back and forth with stuff. Th that's all I want to know. I want to know how they play this out because I know yeah. we're going to see a young version of them. But we're yes. all going to see, I want to see if he, we, I'm hearing we're supposed to see him in force and we're supposed to see appearance of him in um ghosts also so I right see it. yeah see it. hey cuz thanks for coming through love you <laughs> 
Hey, Monique, 69 ways. What's up, Candy Love? Hey, Monique, tomorrow. Um, EJ, any takes on this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm oh, I'm here for it. I mean, honestly, when I first heard it, I was like, man, that's really whack, you know? And then as I've kind of sat with it, I'm just like, at the end of the day, if it's going to be two parts and if they are eight to ten episodes apiece, to me, that's like two seasons and a series should only last about five seasons anyway, in theory, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't really go super long unless they crime shows. You know, when I say crime shows, I'm talking about like Law and Order, SUV, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Those right. Can go right. For forever. But uh, this type of show, I'm like, okay, that's cool. That feels like it's getting its... Um, like it's getting you know uh it, it's it's running its course so i'm cool with with that i just i'm ready to see how they're gonna do it and i just want it to be a good ending you know like something that you could talk about for a long time like the right. last one like the og power like that stuff was crazy because you were like what in the world you know what i'm saying like stuff that you mm -hmm. didn't expect to happen so I just want to see how that's going to go. And I'm excited about Power Origins. I wanted that in the beginning. You know, I'm a newly mm -hmm. raising Kanan fan because y'all know I hated Kanan. And I just really got into like where I really, really like absolutely love the show. I always wanted the other uh, version of it. I always wanted the Tommy and Ghost part of it. So I'm excited mm -hmm. that that's actually happening now. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. What about you, Inga? I agree with EJ and Mucci. Um, I'm okay. Battery, you know, and I'm okay. <laughs> and, and, and 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 Mucci, right? He might we can be able to spin him off on um go to force or some something else. I don't know. But if we don't see him no more and this is it, then that's cool too. I'm I mean it's it's, it's probably time for a change. Uh mm -hmm. I understand what they saying, their reasons might be financial, all this kind of stuff, but I'm okay for it. I've been I'm with EJ on this. I've been wanting the the beginnings on how Ghost and Tommy became mm -hmm. Ghost and Tommy in the first place. So yeah, let's take it back. Start from the beginning, just like we did with um, you know, Vase and Kana. So right, I, I'm I'm cool with it. So and and it is gonna be uh like uh it'll end up being five seasons, you know, with mm -hmm. the two parts, you know, so mm -hmm. part one, part two. So it's um. That'd be that's good, you know, as long as they wrap it up in a in a good way, though, you know, like yeah, definitely. These, yeah, these last the two parts, I definitely want to see some people being taken out or some people going to prison or something. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I agree with basically a combination of what you all are saying. Like my first response when I seen the power origins was like, Oh, so what happens to raising Cain? Like you know, because for me, and I think a lot of us said it when we was talking about how we wanted to see them probably end it out, would be bringing Ghost and Tommy in and him meeting them and whatever. And that would probably be in the last season. I still feel like they can do that. I don't think them bringing Origins changes that. And as far as Power Book 2 goes, um, I was okay with it. I just thought they were ending it on their own. And you know, I'm always happy when shows say okay this is where we want to stop it at but then later when we heard it was canceled i kind of felt a little different pertaining to it and they were saying that everybody as far as the cast and crew and people that was a part of it didn't know that they kind of found out the same time as us i didn't think that that was necessarily cool of course we had some trolling and some jokes where michael rainey was saying i didn't even know they didn't even tell me and then 50 was like well you don't pick up your damn phone so <laughs> like in other words they have been trying to call him now we don't know if all of that is real or if they just kind of putting it out there because we know 50 can also be the troll king but i feel like i'm not going to really pass no judgments and so when it comes on i have faith that they're going to do a good job we know that some of the original people that worked on power was a part of power origins and then you also have sasha penn who worked on raising canaan on it so i think it's going to be good based off of that but we shall see because if y'all know me and you know how i started out with the whole power thing i wasn't rocking with uh book two i know people go crazy for book two but I was not rocking with Tariq. I was still mad at him for a long time for him taking out his damn father. 
And I didn't watch um, season one when it first aired. I literally had started my channel right before two was about to start. And my son was like, Ma, now you can't keep being mad at Tariq. He's like, catch up on it. That way you could do the review on, you know, season two. And I kind of did that and jumped in then. And then I started actually, you know, liking it. And then Raising Canaan, I kind of was like, okay, we'll see where it go. And I was really excited for Force. And Force, especially season one, disappointed me. But then I fell in love with Raising Canaan. So I think, you know, we don't really know until we get it how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to... um like just jump to no conclusions, but I did find it interesting how people was going off online. They was like, "Oh, well, what was the point of book two? What was the point of y'all doing all this? What's gonna happen with Razor Kane in there? Y'all canceling the best book?" And they was having a fit. So I just thought that was interesting, but I think it's gonna be cool. And I also think that it's kind of funny to me now. I don't know if this had anything to do with it because the way they're looking at it is the money they were spending, especially to get these bigger um, actors and stuff like that in it, right? So it's all about saving money. Of course, the actors is going to get the lower end of the deal and the ones at the top going to be getting the bigger. So how they're looking at it is we'll give you less seasons but more <laughs> episodes, right? I think that makes sense. I can understand that from the business standpoint. Do y'all also think that? Because remember, some people probably too young for this, but remember back in the days before they had that last writer strike, we used to get more episodes. We wasn't getting just no eight and 10 episodes. We used to get exactly. like 20 something episodes and they cut exactly. that down. And it took us a minute to get used to the change. So yep. now after this strike, we all of a sudden come back and now you're seeing them say, Let's have these, you know, seasons that's two parts and let's have less seasons and more, um, you know, episodes. So I just found that interesting, too. I don't know if it have anything to do with the strike, but the fact that they started kind of talking more about it after it, I find that interesting. And I think a lot of more shows are going to be doing this. And even when it came to the shop, we was like, well, why the heck are they having two separate parts? And this is something that Tyler Perry does on the regular with his show, so... I think you're gonna see more shows time, doing this. I remember at one time they um was was we they used to film TV shows from September when school start and in May yeah. used to end. Do y'all remember exactly? That? Yeah. That's how yes, yes exactly. Out of that and nobody yes. worked through the summer. No, uh, uh, yeah. no. They showed the reruns in the summertime. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Absolutely. And also, Tamika, when you were talking about the about the origins, about the basically across. I think that's exactly what they're going to do because that makes the most sense. You cross it over at the end of Raising Canaan because we know Raising Canaan is only going to go so far, um, you know, when it's all said and done. But if you bring Ghost and Tommy in so that we get to that part where we see Ghost and Tommy in Raising Canaan, that still leaves the the possibility of keeping Kanan's character, or mm -hmm. the guy who plays Kanan's character, Makai. What's his name, Makai? Makai. Yeah, Makai um, something, yeah. So that he can be in this other show as well, because I believe it, he is going to be. A, I, that would be a. It good only idea. makes sense. It would make sense. Yeah, yeah that definitely would make sense. So yeah, y'all, y'all put it in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about this. I think most of y'all have probably already voiced y'all opinions. I know I'm the late one, but. Just want to talk yeah. about that real quick. So I'm not mad about it. I, I don't understand anybody that's mad, but I can well, I shouldn't say that because some people really, really like book two. Mm -hmm. Book two is, is not my number one favorite. Mine's is yeah. Raising Canaan. Yeah. So I mean, outside of the, the original is Raising mm -hmm. Canaan of the spin-offs. Mm -hmm. So right. um, it's okay if that one um now if they had said they was getting rid of force. That would mm -hmm. I'd be classy. I'd be even better, you know. And I don't I, think I, that one is gonna be around much longer either. I think that this is gonna be like that's it, and we moving on to the next thing, and they're gonna be bringing yeah, out yeah. different. I books, think they're so. gonna do four, four, five seasons, and it's over. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Mm -hmm. I think people would have been okay with it if they had not said the word canceled. I think that's right. the only problem. Yeah. If they had right, just said right. that it was ending, like you know, this was the final season. And they mm -hmm. announced it like that. Mm -hmm. And I think they were trolling us a little bit when they mm -hmm. when they said that too, to be honest. Like at first they I was were. like, but I think they were really Even trolling. Michael Rainey was trolling us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> when they said it was I, the final season, no, they didn't everybody else always you know what? No, I mean? no, no. They said canceled. The CEO they said, said canceled. canceled. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know yeah, I when they first 
Yeah. When it first the dropped, season, it's in final season. I was season. fine That's with that. But then when we started getting the interviews and the CEO talking about canceled and then some of the people started having reactions as far as the actors and the staff, that's when I was like, oh, wait a minute. It didn't just stop on its own. I'm like, yeah, they didn't really need to put that part out there. <laughs> exactly. They could have left that part out. But I think that's the point of it. They wanted people to flock to the Internet and they wanted people to flock to talking. and They got the buzz that they wanted. Yeah, that, that's what that that's exactly what they did. They wanted that buzz. People's going to flock to this last season and they're going to want to see this. Oh, the people are saying they don't want to see the spinoff, but they're going to watch. The numbers is going to be real high because oh, it's the yeah. final. Yeah. The oh, yeah. Gonna they're going to watch that. Nice you better watch. believe it. And we're going to be right there talking about it just like yeah, everybody yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. And like um, Jay said, it's just more content for everybody that they put, mm-hmm. you know, that. So That's everybody it. will be talking about it. What's yeah. up, Stephen Harris? Hey, Steve. Hey. hey. So y'all, we gonna move on over to BMF, child. Mm-mm-mm. And mm-hmm. just to get the elephant out of the way, child, out of the room, because this was the messiness and foolishness here. And if y'all didn't see Inga short, <laughs> we had so many jokes on this. Make sure y'all go check out Inga. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help with Tell this, me this, what y'all thought this about thing. this Tupac. And it's not even just the Tupac. Tell me what y'all thought about the kid in play because it was the disrespect for me. His, his hair was not wide like that. That damn hair looked wider than my damn behind child. Lord. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. That thing stayed on my mind all weekend. I was so pissed. <laughs> I was like, I said, uh, let me pull out my phone. I got Look, to do something. I said, what in the Tupac? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, the bandana looked like a shoestring. Okay. <laughs> I ain't never worn no bandana look like that. Come on, don't be disrespecting him look, like that. What in the, the kid played? I mean, they got kid looking me. That looked like uh man, that looked that looked terrible. What in the, the Tupac is going on here? What in the mm-hmm. Tupac is going on here? This whole episode was goofy <laughs> and just it was just a comedy show. <laughs> This whole episode was just a comedy. Yeah, I definitely cracked up in this episode. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Um, <laughs> Brown Sugar says, I think Stars is going to repeat this with the other books. 50 will have a chance um, to have spinoffs under his company. Yeah, I agree with that. I definitely see that coming as well. Yeah, nah, Jamarcus, his hair was never wide like that. His hair was crazy no. high. It, it was, was not wide like but this. It, but like that they looked played like they, yeah. so they really did yeah. like stop me, yeah. y'all. <laughs> that, was, that was ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's, it's I just mean. looking like that because he's filmed far away. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, that was wild. I mean, they could have spent a couple co- extra coins and got. Somebody else that uh they've already had two other previous Tupacs. I in, mean, it's movie, so why now. you ain't get them? I, I, I had Inga. like a little riff in my little <laughs> video. You, I mean, come on, you mean to tell me you couldn't pay to get the, the other guy that looked like did, Tupac? Did y'all not no just what me? we just get through talking about y'all? What we did, you, don't you see they trying to save money? Come on now, that's hey. just another franchise, yeah. yeah. They definitely were saving yeah, some money same, here, same, uh, and money. it was crazy because when I was watching the episode, I'm like saying, What the hell is this fake Tupac? But I didn't know that this was really supposed to be Tupac, I just was saying, like, he giving me fake Tupac vibes, yeah. And I then when I who realized it, was. it really was supposed to be Tupac, I'm like, Come on, y'all are disrespecting right now. And then when they <laughs> flashed over to Kid and Play, I was like, I know that ain't who I think that is. Like, are you and there was me? no reason, and really, there was no reason to have Tupac. Like, they spent five, ten minutes on that scene. They could have erased that scene. It, it wasn't necessary. It didn't. It didn't impact the episode at all. I liked it. You did. It didn't <laughs> impact the, it did. So, so you saying that little scene made the episode better? Hey, it didn't I didn't say that. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I'm about to say that. that. Like, I you I did. Like, <laughs> I like oh, right. at first I was like, like who is this? right now I didn't even know who it was at first like I, mean, it, I, I thought the same thing that Tamika said when Tamika I said who is this Tupac wannabe it took me the second maybe the third time when Thank I watched it to sugar. realize that it was supposed to be Tupac I think my husband said it I said oh I thought it was just somebody that was 
you know, acting like. <laughs> I thought it was somebody just from LA. And, and then, when, then when he said the other thing, I said, oh, what in the Tupac is this? <laughs> I knew it. I knew who it was as soon as they saw with the chain and the band. I said, Come. and then when he talking about uh, two of America's most wanted and mm -hmm. all, he was doing the references. I said, Stop but he wasn't it. even talking about that then. What year is exactly. this? Exactly. They, they, they jumped to like '96, and this is supposed when to be '96. That was one thing. My mm -hmm. son is one of the biggest Tupac fans, and he said, "What the heck is this?" I mean. I, I wanted to throw my shoe at my own TV. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. Mm -hmm. If they show a kid in play, he wasn't even with Death Row then. He was with the on uh, uh, the exactly. digital underground. He, didn't he wasn't go even over wearing that right. banana like that. Or that yeah. was my whole in a whole way. Point. I want to say jumped. he still had the flat top. Mm -hmm. He still might have had hair here because I think this is before the cops got at him that time. Yeah, I'm the whole saying, thing was just wrong. wrong. Exactly. It, it, was um, just no, it was no reason for it. It wasn't like he added anything to the story to make the story like no. It just. It was Honestly, I didn't read into it that much, to be honest. I saw Sally it, I like, oh, okay, um, and I kept going. He <laughs> says, that was all eyes on me, Tupac, and it should have been Brenda's got a baby, Tupac. Yeah, they did kind of come with yeah. that one, but it wasn't a big deal, but at the same time, I was like, why did y'all even bother? It was just hilarious. <laughs> I, was just like, it was it, I feel like it was an unnecessary scene. It was unnecessary, yeah. It was, it was an unnecessary yeah. scene. We didn't need to see it. It was the wrong It was the wrong Tupac ever, because you got kids and play in there over in the corner and that's look like that's like what 90 91 92 yeah. 93 he and wasn't Sally, like that day Sally that said he in Cuba Sally said he in Cuba I know that wasn't supposed to be me you know what <laughs> whatever Tupac is you probably said what the heck is what the heck is this yeah, yeah. Oh, they can't never episode. get this right with this man they can't never get it right just leave, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Yeah, it was funny though. I I, I listen. Well, I, I know. I, I the whole episode, <laughs> the entire episode from beginning to end, I cracked up. This just added on to the laughter. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I was laughing. So, I was but laughing. I seen a lot of people yeah, talking about it, so I figured we would get that out the way first. So anyway, y'all, yeah. yeah. we started <laughs> off the episode with, of course, you know, Charles having to give Meech a little lesson about what the drummer supposed to do because he swore he was doing something, okay? And we got to be one band, okay? We can't be playing no damn game. <laughs> and then we basically, of course, got to, you know, Meech coming and all of a sudden raggedy ass stacks talking about they robbing us. So we're going to start with Moochie. You can talk about either one of those things, both of those things, wherever you want to take it, girl, break it on down because y'all already know my thoughts on stacks. Did y'all hear the, the voices before he walked up there coming into the, coming to the door? Stacks, I told y'all I didn't trust him from the get go. This dude is trash. He done did Meech dirty. He's part of that robbery. That's my thought. I agree with Moochie. That's it, my thoughts exactly too. It was just too. Um, it, it's just the way it all went down. It didn't feel right, and um, I was just like, "Nah, something ain't right with that." And I ain't never trusted Stacks either. So I agree. Yeah, I agree too. I knew that. Uh, I felt from day one, first time we saw him, he was, uh, you know, it was something sneaky and. You know, uh, he was a snake. I just I ain't trust him. So mm -hmm. and um, so yeah, I knew it was um, I knew this whole thing was a setup. You know, and as, we're not. This is not the end. We are gonna see of him either. So yeah, I definitely knew Stacks wasn't about nothing. I knew he was about to do something grimy, and I just felt like. Uh, I wanted them to act like they knew a little bit faster than what they was moving for me. I'm I'm tired of him. Yeah, I know the two I've been saying that I want to go, and he definitely been number one. Um, give me a minute, y'all. Kayla done knocked stuff everywhere, but what did y'all think about you know the scene in the club and and of course Meech went to. Wait, did I skip? No, you ain't skip. Okay. Meech went to the, you know, club basically feeling like Angel has something to do with this once the whole, you know, robbery happened. Moochie, you started off. Oh, well, look, he thought he he came to her, but I I know he came from Greeny. Um, you know, she's going back and telling him stuff because he's in her ear, but 
what I liked most about this whole scene that we got our little new character with JD Williams from the wire, y'all. So I like seeing this in the St. Louis boys. So I was open for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, I still, I, I honestly didn't think that. Well, from at first, I thought Angel had something to do with it. Then later, I was like, maybe not. But I don't know. Then when we saw that one scene after she was repeating after him, I was like, maybe so. So I went back and forth about three or four times, and I think I've come to the conclusion that just maybe she did have something to do with it. But it was an interesting scene, and I love seeing Bodie. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with y'all. Um, Greeny, I can't stand him. I, I wish they had taken him out, not just beat him up. You know, so... I'm already done with him, and we only on the third episode. I'm done with him already. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I knew he wasn't. He, I knew he wasn't no good. And the way he asking for his money, he know he gonna get more on the interest if he get it. This, it, it, he set him up. He said, "Do that." Right, right. Um, he trash anyway. But yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, Stacks is my number one trash, and Greenie's my number two. They both gotta go. I was saying that yeah. last week. Trash mm -hmm. one, trash two, A and B. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Throw them both in the furnace. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that. So Terry was over here trying to do what he got to do and, and figure out what's going to be their next steps. And he got a call from Markeisha. Inga started off. We're going to go, you know, from Inga to, to EJ to Moochie. I'll go last. <laughs> She's another one to throw her in the furnace, too. She, uh, <laughs> yeah, she said, She's a, there's so many people that need to go in the furnace and, and just go away forever. And she's one of them. She's sitting there thinking that uh, yes, I'm, I'm laying here with no with no panties on. Like, you stank witch. That, that I was, is stroke your hair again. Stroke your hair again. Yeah, you know. Stroke your hair again. <laughs> you stank ho. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but he's so stupid. He really is just so stupid. I have no love for Terry. I don't care nothing about him. He can go in the furnace and he can burn forever. Yeah, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing for, for Terry. He got to do something to make Damn, me like him again. you want Terry in the furnace too? <laughs> yeah, he got to do something to make me like him again because he has been doing all kind of things. I just, I, I, yeah, I, well, I, I still predict that he's the cause of the whole operation going down in the first place. So <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> nah, yeah. I ain't with, I'm not with her, so. Mm -mm. Y'all can have them. <laughs> EJ, what say you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I agree. Terry is not my biggest. He's not my favorite character on here. I be screaming at the TV at Terry all the time. But the audacity of Marquisha to even call him and think that she can just pick up where they left off and, like, it was nothing. I mean, for one thing, you're living in the house that he purchased. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the audacity to say the things that you said. Like, I understand that Terry is a kid. Like, don't get me wrong. I get that. Like, I sometimes I think we do forget that part. So I try to remember that part. And, and I have to remember that this is an older woman who got his nose wide open. Mm -hmm. And it irritates hell out of me sometimes but at the same time I have to go back and remember that although he trying to play in a big boy game he still is got that mentality of a you know a young boy that this woman got him wide open so you know it is what it is it was trash yeah definitely Mochi find out also that um Henrietta is freaking doing her thing outside and he losing business. Mm -hmm. This is the bad business part with T. This is the bad business part. And you you focusing on Terry, I have no panties on. And my kitty really misses you. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm 
I'm glad he handled it the way he handled it, though, y'all. Like, where he was like, nah, mm -hmm. you know what? You was right. You know, this, that. And I wish he would have stuck to his guns, though. But I'm glad he handled right. it. This scene, I was satisfied. Yeah, I was, too. This part, I said, okay, Terry, that's what I'm talking about. But she was all trying to be like, you know, she misses you. And he was like, nah, I'm dealing with my business. And if anything, because she told him, don't be sour or whatever. He's like, nah, I'm not sour. I just... You helped me. You made me realize, and right now I need to be more focused on my family. Lawanda's mm -hmm. pregnant, and the baby is sick. I say yes. Shout out, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I yeah, was yeah, I forgot to add that. At least he was. At least that's the one thing he did do that I like was that mm -hmm. he told her. Uh, he slammed the phone down on her. It's like you know, mm -hmm. she much. was looking like, like you know, this nigga looking at that phone like what? <laughs> I didn't believe yes. it, so that's why I wasn't uh, excited about it. I was like, mm -hmm. this is just him having his temper. Well, yeah, we knew it was temporary. We was already saying they was gonna get back together, but I was happy that he made her look feel stupid in that part. So now, y'all, wait a minute. Did I skip? I feel like oh no no no. Okay, I didn't. Uh -uh. Um. Yeah. So I do have a question for the chat with this part, but you know, we're gonna start it off with Moochie. Um with this whole Moody scene. Home. Any part that you want to talk about, but my question for the people in the chat, okay. Who did Stack say Meech was acting like? And what did Meech tell him was gonna happen to him? Let me see how many of y'all was paying attention to this scene. Oh shit, but... you got trivia? <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. What's the what's the question? Wait, I'm too late. You don't call me said, on tonight. I right? said, who did Stax say Meach was acting like? And what did Meach tell him would happen for him? Oh, I know. No say it, Inga. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Yeah. Uh, oh Lord, here she come again. She got that. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I got the wrong answer. Y'all saying something different than what I'm going to no, talk about. No, I wasn't answering the question. I was okay. just, I, I was just saying leaving a something statement. Different. Let, me, let me see. I don't even know if I'm right. I must be thinking <laughs> about a different scene. I must be thinking about a different scene. Okay, oh, yeah. He else. did say that. Okay. I must, you, okay. I ain't EJ's right. Okay. Yeah, EJ got it. I see some people in the chat got it. Tia was number one. Mm -hmm. was but he also... Michelle. He also made a reference to uh Rodney King. Yeah, he talked about Rodney King in reference to yeah, he, he wasn't gonna just let them Rodney King him, but then he yeah. called that's me what I thought you were talking about. Okay, put I a, a mark okay. on him. He lying. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. hit him. He should have yeah. at least some kind of he's a mind gonna let them Rodney King me. Like, right. Now, wait a minute, what so, year is this supposed to be? Because Rodney King was like 91, 92, 91 or 92. So, yeah, something yeah. like that. 93. Mm -hmm. It was before OJ, and OJ yeah. was 94. So, yeah. that's why yeah. I said that was the wrong Tupac they had. He yeah. talking about death row and everything. No, where the, yeah. where the, who the heck wrote that? Yeah, so if this 90, 91, <laughs> 92, um, yeah, because this was early. Yeah, it was early ninety. It had to be like ninety one, ninety two, because NWA was still together. They mm -hmm. were the police and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Oh, Death Row wasn't oh. even around yet at, at that time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Focus. Focus, y'all. <laughs> so what did y'all think about? I I thought it was interesting. What's her name again? Tina. Is it mm -hmm. Tina? I yeah. found it interesting that last week he bumped into her in the club, and now she's just like a part of the crew. She in there now. Um, she, also, he gotta have her. Yeah, but she just, you know, they asked her in quickly, okay, quickly and professionally. <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh, real, okay, it, she right in real life. Uh, in real life, they did have a girl who was uh, right there. Oh, no, 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 I know that, but I, I yeah. didn't know how they was gonna add her in, so I just found it interesting. Once they showed her in here, she was like, Oh, yeah, that's smart moves, and he gave her the money too. I said, Oh, okay, so it's official, she's added in, right? Mm -hmm. And so we also see that Meach pawned his watch and basically was giving them, you know, money and stuff. So you know, mm -hmm. Moochie, how did you feel about the moves he was like making? And, and, and oh, like God, it. Sax was just hating all the way. He, oh, he was just, oh, he was, he couldn't even contain himself with all the hatred coming out of him. 
Like, it reminded me of the scene in Belly when DMX was like, yo, I see a lot of heat coming off of that couch. But I see a lot of heat with him rocking back and forth and stuff. Like, what you gonna box? What's up? <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was cool that he um pawned his Rolexes and paid his crew. That made people loyal to him. That's the difference between him and Terry. He know exactly. how to handle his soldiers. And gained two more soldiers in the same process. Mm -hmm. That's what was up with me. I like I like that they was like, you ain't never give us nothing. Mm -hmm. EJ. Yeah, uh, that was one of my favorite parts right there. And I like the way uh, I like how Meech, I, I like his philosophy, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of what he did, you know, to make his money, he was a people person and he understood the concept of that if you treat people right, that that's what's going to keep people loyal to you. And, you know, he can get Rolex. He can get more Rolexes at any time once the money get right. But right now, his crew needs to eat. And I agree with Moochie. That's the big difference between him and Terry. Terry out here taxing people for dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. moving people and Meech, like she said, gained two more soldiers because they saw the difference. And they was like, shoot, we, we ride with Meech. You ain't never pawn nothing. For, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. I like, and I like that. I thought that was straight. And I, and Stax just, he is a hating, a hating a -N. I can't say it, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what he is. Right. Yeah, he had the full face the whole time. Everybody else was happy. And the whole time he just wanted something to complain about. And when he kept going, but what you gonna do, Meech? How you gonna take care of this? And they run I said, You get out there and take care of it. They did it to you. How come you wasn't fighting them? Why uh, that whole thing? Uh girl, it took that's me why off. he brought up the whole tie situation. Exactly. I think he needs to get mad and react and be like a, a and do some gangster stuff and line them up. I'm sorry. And he no Meech don't do the violence thing, he's not mm -hmm. trying to do over that. He, I think, does I think Stax was trying to line them up. That's my, my my opinion. That's why he wanted to go hard at these dudes. He right. was going to defy the plan, and then meet you end up being jacked up. I'm glad he left. Good riddance. Yeah, oh well, exactly. see him again. But I think we went nah, we got to see him again because we got to get his money back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. We will. I know mm -hmm. we got to get his money back because he going. So EJ had him. the answer right. He told. Him Meech that he was acting like Moses. Y'all had that part right. And then Meech said to him that he was going to die of thirst without him. And he said, we'll see. I mm -hmm. said, we sure enough will, bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. <That part>. so, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm tired of that because I want to see him gone. Now, Maybe. we got to Terry. And this is basically what y'all was just, you know, kind of mentioning already. How... We don't have the product yet, right? Terry's saying it's coming. And we also like, you're nothing like Meech. You don't do business like Meech, you know, and um, you over here giving us $5, $5, $5, $5. <laughs> and Terry pretty much was like, yeah, you're right. I'm not like my brother. Now, on the one hand, I get Terry being like, I'm Terry. That's Meech. We do business different. But on the other hand, I feel like you also got to know how to maneuver to what the situation is and the people that you're trying to get to stay with you because not only do you not have the product and you, but now Henry has the upper hand and these people are re ready to leave to go to them. So sometimes you got to do what you don't feel like doing or what you wouldn't normally do for the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Like how Meech was saying in the last episode, you get more bees with honey. Uh -huh. What did y'all feel about this? Exactly. Um, I, I, I think that that was the, I, like, it's exactly like what you said. Like, even though Terry is his own individual person, we totally understand that. But at the same time, Meech has already, like, basically developed relationships with all these people and they already are accustomed to a certain way of business. Um, and if you think about it, you are not in a position to be losing people. Like you have somebody else that's already trying to move in on your territory and all that type of stuff. So why would you put yourself in a position to lose people and be like, cause he has a bad habit of always being like, Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mm -hmm. always like, it's almost like he doesn't care. Like I'm the man, like we're, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's this entitlement for me with him. It irritates me, and if to me it feels like his downfall. I I don't know. It's just very it's it's very arrogant almost. You know what I mean? Like 
I don't know if I'm using the right words, but it's just it it's just something about him that screams I could I don't need you, but at the same time you really do. You have no business. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So Moochie, we got 80 people in the chat. Can you tell them what to do? And then you know if you have anything you want to add in about this thing. <laughs> hit the like, hit the share. Put me up in that algorithm, y'all, and holla at your girl. Y'all, at this point, when he said BMF as a family, and he was like, the only one is the problem is the Cyclops in the mirror. When he said that, <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't called him a Cyclops. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was hilarious. He's I not thought... a... <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, I'm going to say he just, he's definitely totally different from his brother. He's not a motivator. He's not a leader. Uh, people just walk away from him. They don't. They don't have. They don't give him the same respect. Mm -mm, that mm -mm, they give not him. at all. But yeah. I. It, but I think it's because of the because of the attitude he gives off too. He oh, feels like he has yeah. to one up his brother all the time instead of working in sync with him. And yeah. and me just trying to say, quit doing this yours and mine stuff. It's yes. ours. We family. Family. And right. he's not seeing that yet. I want to know when this. What? How much has to happen? For him to say, okay, we're gonna move as a family. Or yeah. he's probably just gonna be like, F it, I'm gonna do my own thing. So that's where it seemed like we going in that direction. Yeah, because they made me laugh when they was like, Okay, you ain't got no product. When are you getting the product? And they was like, dude, we don't even like you, so we really don't want to be here anyway. And then on top of it, you don't have the product. And y'all know I've been saying since last week, everybody hates Terry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Everybody so. hates Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I agree with Kendall. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> and I agree with Kendall that uh, Terry's mind is too much up on Marquisha's uh, cootie cat. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's the issue right there. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. that, that, that is just giving attitude tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, <laughs> Absolutely. If this had been yeah. me, y'all, they would have definitely waited on it. And that's what yes. I feel like is the yes. biggest thing that yes. you can see that it wouldn't have, they would have just, you know, they would have trusted that Meech would get it done because he always comes through. And that's another thing about him. He always comes through. And it feels like with Terry, it's like Meech always has to step in in some kind of way, you know, even when he don't know it, pull, you know, pull the string. So I don't know. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So, um, EJ, break this down when, you know, Raggedy Behind Brian finally make his way over here to Henrietta, Lord child. Henry. Oh, Henry. You know, I just realized what her name was today. Like, I finally figured it out because I've been calling her old girl. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, old girl. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what her name was. I don't but... remember nobody's names either. Yeah, me, girl. Mm -mm. So when when this scene kind of opens up, I think the cousin is, you know, helping her pull her stuff down. I thought that was interesting. I was like, what are we really doing? But anyway, and then <laughs> Brian comes up in there and he just come up in there like he owned things. You know, the, the, the funny part about this is that this was another funny part to me because Brian, who, you know, is this cop and he has this thing out for Meech and Terry, comes up in there like he's just a class A criminal. Like he comes in there like ready, like he's just all in on the criminal side. I get that he's doing all of this for his son, but it just feels like it is just too close to the edge for me. But anyway, he comes up in there ready to go and he's, they, he's trying to get the work, you know, done or whatever. And Henry is like, look, uh, just because my father sent you over here, like I'm still the king of this, you know, I still run this over here. And then she tells him that she wants, you know, him to run a load, basically go pick up some product. And then he gives her the good idea that there's one type of vehicle that ain't nobody gonna stop, which was actually a pretty good idea. So he is good for something. So, and this is also where we're, um, Twan is a very important part of this as well, because we do see Twan and I didn't know who he was at first and then, you know, but anyway, but Twan was, a, is the cousin, he's there. So I guess they're going to run the, they're going to go get the shipment together. But that's pretty much what this episode, this particular part was about. Yeah. Anybody else had any thoughts on this? 
why did we have to see her get her breast wrapped up in an ace bandage? I don't know why they keep showing this stuff. I, look, if you live in your life, you live your life. I don't, I don't, I just feel like why why is it pushed in our face so much? Uh that's the problem I still got with it. Um, I like I like the fact that uh look, <laughs> she told them she the only swinging D. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, I just, I, I just, I, just don't. I don't care for this character at all. I period. don't at all. I just, I just feel like she's too ahead of her time too. She's not supposed to be in this ever right here. That's why. <laughs> came yeah, back from I, the I future. Like she, she was like, no, ma, I'll leave it alone. Yeah, Go ahead. yeah. I, no, yeah, I just want to <laughs> say real quick before we move on is that this character is not believable. Is this not believable? I think the. I, and I don't want to say the actress is not good actress. I don't know her. I ain't. I don't even remember seeing her or something else. I'm just saying that it's whatever's written on the paper is either wrong or she's just trying too hard to be this character. And it's coming off as goofy to me. And I just don't like this character. And I know it's going to drag out all season with this person. Um, But I would rather see Lamar back than to see this lady no no no, no. <laughs> i i i'll no, take no, him no. over this lady that's just me that's just I, I my just, thing i mean i because i, I think just want to see how long she's yeah it's not, we not gotta see she's trying too hard i don't know what what is the writing or her or what it is but i just it, it's just yeah i'm like i'm just looking at her and i've just laughed all through the episode i thought i was watching a a, a, a comedy well, <laughs> So we, of course, had Charles come. I like this. I like the fact that Charles came down and them having a moment and he flew first class. Okay. <laughs> he was happy with that. Um, so I got a little question for this part, y'all. When when we in the studio, when Charles first got there, what song did Meech play for him? Okay. Or did he have Duffy play for him? I should say. Y'all put it in the chat. Let me know. But Moochie, break down this thing. What did you think oh, about? I okay. I, I was going to put it, but no, he, forgot to, the he forgot to mention that, you know, part of the thing was that he needs to get this house or he's looking into houses. So part of the reason, of course, that Charles is down here is so he could co-sign on this. Yeah, well, he's uh, look. I need you to check out the foundation there. <laughs> he know doing well. He gonna need a name on that house that got a job. Mm -hmm. He going through this divorce. He probably gonna. Do you think he gonna move down here, y'all? I'm just happy to see. The I dude thought he was, was. Able to, able to nice. You know, to be nice with each other. You know, yeah. Well, Mitch is always nice to his fathers. A father sometimes is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the father just him. don't want to take nothing he want, but he's taking everything right. today. Clothes, he's taking clothes. Oh, I thought he was gonna and say, and was yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I was he said you need some new threads. <laughs> yeah, he's he taking everything from me. Hey, Ashley, from my and, and, and he, so he, the question is, did he take the Jack the Rapper ticket? I think he might have. That's the part <laughs> I wasn't too clear on because he, it he was got so there, funny. He got in there. Y'all think it was he so took it funny he how excited he way. was. Hey, hey, yeah, I, he hey. Did one or the other because it was funny how Meese tried to distract him and be like, you know, heavy up, get rid of these. I don't need my dad showing up there. And you know, he talked about, oh, you feel this weekend? Listen, Charles already had his plans. Okay, you couldn't tell him nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You telling that him not to go there? And this he was happy. Yes. happy. Yeah, Charles was happy. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, like y'all. So the answer guy. was Marvin Gaye. Y'all right about that. And it was Mercy, Mercy, mercy me. me. Okay. <laughs> and it sounded so good, too. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. So, and, um, and, the, and the Marvin Gaye estate don't play around. So I know they had to get permission to play his music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did y'all no think about? With, Oh. Yeah, they don't play no games with them. Yeah, Once Lucille again. and her cuz. Now, baby, can y'all tell me where the carrots is this big at? That's is that I'm her on. cousin? That yeah, what's her cousin? That's oh, what okay. I need to know. I need to know where the carrots is this size at, y'all. Okay. I ain't <laughs> never seen no carrots that huge. I'm like, I ain't never seen Bugs Bunny with no carrot that big. I said, where I the have. hell did you get Look, that? I have. Yeah, good. Lord. So, so. <laughs> Look, I she have. said, a good man is hard to find. And what and was the rest of it? A hard man is good to find. <laughs> 
with her hot ass. <laughs> Moochie! <laughs> well, Moochie already took that one. So, <laughs> what did y'all think about what she? Oh, was that was a question. Michelle? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. She popped it up on the screen. She's already <laughs> saying it, though. I said, dang, Moochie acting like me now. <laughs> mm. She ain't say it was a question. I just got carried away with it. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm back on mute. Good. All right. So what did y'all think about what I was saying to me? Her, her, um, what do you call it? Her opinions and her advice. I think it was horrible advice, to be honest. I think this was the, like, I honestly, I just think that sometimes people need to keep their advice to themselves. Like, regardless mm -hmm. of what Charles and Lucille are going through, like, for one thing, I just don't believe in a tit for tat thing. Like, you're still married. Y'all still living in the same house. There still is a level of disrespect. Mm -hmm. The way I feel about Charles mm -hmm. disrespecting her with what he did is the same way I would feel about Lucille disrespecting him because they're still married and they're still in the same house and there's still a room for reconciliation because she's just mad right now. And we all know that if she ever can get just past that point where she is not as upset, there might be some reconciliation. And Charles is really crying when we really think about it. So I think it's I think it was horrible advice. That's why she ain't married. That's why she's single looking for mm -hmm. single. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like crazy. Yeah, this was very much giving me like you know the cartoons when you have the devil on the shoulder. We just didn't have the angel on the other side, but that's what it was giving me when she just was trying to entice her, be that bad, you know, influence. But I did like the fact that Lucille was like, I'm still married, regardless of what, and regardless of what he did. I like that that was her reaction, but then at the same time, it was still over here just a giggling and giddy. Oh, he's so cute and he's so kind. He he's um what was it? Um Damn, you I don't forgot to do that. You don't listen I'm, to your single friends or family members. Mm -hmm. If they ain't got no man, they're going to tell you about what to do in your mm -hmm. household. Yeah. That's why you don't mm -hmm. tell people your business. Right, you know, exactly. But, she, but I also felt like I felt like Lucille over here talking about he con. I said, girl, you really don't know if he con. You thinking about the man you knew. And I've been in this predicament before. The mm -hmm. only difference is it wasn't a divorce. My husband was deceased. And I bumped back into somebody I knew from before I even had my son. And he was always kind of the one I thought about, like, the one that got away that it could have, should have, you know, would have mm -hmm. been. And it's like, I'm not the 18 year old anymore. And you're not the 19 year old no more. So we still got to get to learn each other for how we are now. You see what I'm right, saying? And exactly. I think she's thinking about the boy that took her to the prom. That's not who he is now, Lucille. Oh, child, yeah. Mm -hmm. and everybody, of course I, she's going to think... And think you seeing I'm people sorry. talking about um, uh, uh, they in the church and all that. People in the church are the worst people. Oh, she yeah. They, they, they don't want to talk like that. Church or not, honey. The things that, that, that go down in the name. church. <laughs> exactly. That's how the down in the DMs, it go down in the church. That's right. Y'all yes. yes. didn't, didn't think that she was talking loud? I thought she was talking too damn loud. I'm like, what the heck? Exactly. Yeah, well, she did say, shush, I don't want everybody knowing my business. But at that point, it was too late. Ooh, um, Sally, everybody in town know what's going on. Sally it's said that's a sweet man. potato. <laughs> Listen, I, that didn't look like a sweet potato. <laughs> oh, well, may, oh, maybe they make a sweet potato pie or something. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a big oh, egg. God. <laughs> So the yeah, other man, thing, man. the other thing she said, nobody answered, was that she's praying for the Lord to give her three six. What was the three six that she wanted? <laughs> Oh yeah, yo, she had me cracking up though. She was giving me so oh, it was, it was hilarious. It definitely was hilarious. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have been to give, talking to her. <laughs> you know. But she that's probably that's probably one of her cousins that she don't rock with since they was little. You know, the the, the sister cousin that you confide in. But yeah. I, I feel you on that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was paying attention. Mm -hmm. Six pack, six figures, six feet. 
I said, okay, girl. Yeah, the girl's a soul goddess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so moving on from there, y'all. Terry and them realize, you know, the whole plan that's going on with the ambulance thing, and they say it's smart and they want to basically, you know, block it. Okay. But little do they know they're getting followed by these two. How do y'all feel? I, I feel like this is foreshadowing, but I feel like it's a foreshadowing that they keep giving us. Like at this point, we know this lady has addiction in her past. She over here talking about when she OD'd, it was beautiful. She saw the light, so she not as scared to go. And then Jen is saying, oh, I'm going to pop your cherry. You've never been in a fight before. You know, I, I'm going to be gentle with you like that whole. <laughs> what did y'all think about this? What you, what you thought about this? Do you think Jen is making it to the end of the season? This mm. is a hard one. I think I don't. It might be the other one that don't make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I because feel like they're making it so obvious that she's not gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, because she keeps know. saying that she um mm -hmm. that she's the old time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Anybody mm -hmm. else had any thoughts on this? Let me find out that her and um, what's his name? The one that she chased after is really together. Remember, she said I used to date somebody like that. Mm -hmm. think, look, she gonna be. They gonna have a lot of time together. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Cause like they don't know if he was really there at the scene where uh Saint was taken out. So, right. Yeah, and then that's what started the whole thing off. So they followed them now. This part was hilarious to me too because baby, when 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 Charles realized like we over here forging some figures, I don't make this money. <laughs> this ain't much. <laughs> what y'all thought about this, and what y'all thought about me selling him is no different than when you still in cable or I bust out laughing. I laugh so hard. <laughs> But you, you see what it shows, right? He's seen his father do stuff, so he figuring that that's all right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you can't, your kids can't know if you do certain things. Mm -mm. Then you see said, you back up that's face. a good point, Um, Kendall. She said that 666 six, six equals the double trend light. So. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't want to say the 666. Six, six. Exactly. That's why I just said the six feet. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Right, right. So at this point, Charles didn't know how he felt about this. He said he was gonna go back to the hotel, leave him alone. Okay, he got to think on it, and of course, the whole thing goes down with this ambulance. EJ, what you thought about how they handled this? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, so first and foremost, I was like, dang, he didn't got he didn't got a what? Listen, cuts is out here cold with this gun okay because he done shot dude in the ambulance like it was i said dang that was a good shot so no but seriously though like it was a good plan but being that they got the inside information and then jen and old girl just popping up i just thought it was a whole mess you know what i'm saying and then when we get to the point where um de detect i can't even call him detective no more brian when brian uh, does what he has to do with the shootout thing and he has to try to save Jen's life. I'm just like, okay, so like how far across the line are we going to go? Because, you know, we, like you said, we are like Moochie talked about when we got that whole moment of way in the future, it just throws your whole entire thought process off when you mm -hmm. see Ryan doing all of these things. Now, I, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because it just messes me up when I think about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, somebody else is going to get the blame for that. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be interesting to see how Jen is going to handle it. That's what I'm most interested in, how she going to handle that particular situation. Is she going to back off? Like, what's she going to do? Well, she's not going to um, uh, turn Brian in or nothing. She's she's not going to do that. I don't think she's going to turn him in. I'm just, just Yeah, that's what I'm curious of. I don't think she's gonna turn in, turn him in. I think she's gonna get dirty with him. We don't know what she's gonna do with them two bricks she found at yeah. Saint's house. Wow. I think she's gonna try to cooperate this into something and try to catch me. Now remember, he I, I'm gonna stay there. I'm not gonna put my track shoes on. I'm gonna stick right here. Yeah, Brian definitely saved her life. 
That mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Is she mm-hmm. gonna write it in the report? Right. Or is she gonna say he wasn't there because he disappeared mm-hmm. after that, after right. the other girl didn't see him. Yep. Brian can go and see Ernest him. too because he needs to be worrying about getting a lawyer for his for his son. That's what he's he spending so to much do. time weren't doing other stuff. <laughs> That's what he trying. Yeah, to do. we he's agree to on that, Inga. But now so he's now, not the lawyer. Me, he getting on my nerves. He been getting on my nerves. Yeah, this pissed me off on. too. It annoyed me. Um, she yelling and screaming, shooting up in the air when she get the news. So fake. And then she tell him, sit down and tell him her everything of Terry, which you know he's more than happy to do because that's what he wanted to do anyway. Be able exactly. to use them to help get Meech and Terry out the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, all of conveniently right after that, this lady shows up. What did we think about this whole thing? Why the oh, mother what was going on with, with the, the mama? Cigarette? What was going on with the grandma? She Look at the wild and Who I was like, why she had to go to the door with the cigarette? I'm like, oh lord, this is like uh, I mean she, everything about it, she just looks so she looked wild, the, the grandmother, but it, who come in here this early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she didn't know who it was gonna be, but once she saw who it was, I felt like she should have just went about her business and let them handle it. And she shouldn't be smoking around the baby. But besides that, this lady came in there real <laughs> ignorant and already ready to judge being sarcastic she was annoying the hell out of me but that's how it really was when these cps and acs workers showed up so and that don't make you a bad parent because you smoke a cigarette around your kids both my parents used to smoke around all of us so uh, that don't make no but everybody in my family used to smoke back in the day so that don't make nobody she was in the other room no she wasn't like sitting out there with them she was back in her bedroom i don't know why why we wanted to answer the door damn so they act you, heard, you heard the door. And the house is so little. I don't know why they uh they ain't hear nobody at the door. They looking like, oh yeah, who is there? They they didn't look, they didn't see like they understood what was going on. Yeah, yeah, you gotta think about the time frame that this is, especially when it comes to like cigarettes. Everybody was smoking everywhere. Now you can't smoke anywhere because you know, you know, it, you can't even smoke in restaurants. But back mm-hmm. then you could smoke anywhere you wanted. Everywhere. Thank you. On the airplanes. My brother was a wrong. chain smoker. So we was mm-hmm. around so much smoke and my dad smoked like it yes. Was like- <laughs> Everybody in my family used to smoke. We, yeah, we smoke. already knew that this lady was just coming in wanting it to be something because she went from, oh, do he have asthma? Has he been treated? Have y'all even bothered to check him out? And oh, it shouldn't be smoke around. And she was looking, you know, everywhere. Like I said, and when it came to black families, you know, let's just keep it real black and brown families. They definitely was already coming in with like, you know, pre meditated prejudging yeah you know and just doing a whole lot and the other flip side is it was a lot of kids that sometimes they would say they went and checked on and then they didn't and then that made it bad where they started going hard for people so it it just was crazy times with that whole thing and of course she telling them now they gotta wait to hear from the judge and it's like what the hell are you talking about judge so some people were saying, because of course Marquisha ends up, not Marquisha, Wanda ends up going up and saying that it was Marquisha, even though Terry was like, I don't think she would do anything like that. I feel like it was Henry and them. But some people were saying it was Marquisha. What do y'all feel? No, nah, I, I, no, I, I think it was Henry. It was uh, uh, Brian. Uh, uh, Brian gave her the information. That's, yeah, what, that's, I what, I think, that's what I think it was. Yeah. Marquisha is worrying much. about um Terry over there at her cootie cat. That's all she's worrying about. And you gotta think about it. Mm-hmm. Think about this part too, y'all, because Marquisha already has Terry wide open. She ain't mm-hmm. got none of this right here in mm-hmm. order to get Terry. She knows that it's just a matter of time. All she gotta do is get in the same room with Terry and mm-hmm. boom, she knows she and, got it back. So exactly. That's yeah. why I don't think it's her. I don't think that that she even has to go that hard for it. Yeah, I felt like once they showed Henry saying, tell me everything you know about, you know, I just feel like it that correlated with that, but I could be wrong. But of course, we got the backstory, some history as far as Jack the Rapper, because these was real events, and everybody and their mother was involved in them and going to them. And then not only was we getting the history lesson with them showing this, and like I said, I felt like they could have just shown this and not even had 
the other part that we already talked about, but you know, that's the way <laughs> they went. And then even, even daddy, you know, Charles Pops was given history lessons as well. And it was so funny to me, like Moochie asked, how did he get the ticket? Because they coming up in here and they like, yeah, we gonna have a good time. They like, well, your dad looking like he about to have a good time too. That's Ooh, why all oh, Charles Dad was made. having a ball. Charles dad was, was having a ball. I got the Yo, clock sisters for your mama. Yeah, that was hilarious to me. Yeah, and he, he had the, the clock sisters. <laughs> he pulled up the clock sisters t-shirts and I hollered. I was in here screaming, laughing. Yeah, this whole episode was hilarious. And I love the fact that he was like, "I'm grown, boy. Let me live." Like, what you talking about? I've been doing this before you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I loved all of that part. Um, mm-hmm. So, of course, you know, Meech was making his rounds, doing his interactions, and then we start, you know, peeping. We don't have somebody that was in the cut watching and done had a conversation with them, Charles and all that. Moochie, you want to start us off? What you thought about this? The way he caught him off guard and he don't know who he is and they talking about speakers and he got his whole name. I had a problem with that. Oh, my dang. Where's this gonna go? I thought it was gonna go further than it did. Uh, I I um I I like seeing that we are gonna see these the 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 St. Louis people. He he's gonna hook up with them. We are gonna see what happens with that. So I hope we see them in more episodes to come. Uh, I like the scene with little baby. I mean, he was he was one of those ones that you know. I'm not gonna leave with um. I'm not going to leave with with stacks. I'm rolling with Meech. So, yeah. So, now, like I said, he got the two soldiers. So, I, I like what was going on here. His fault, but but um, I forgot his name. The Miami, you know, the MK. Mm-hmm. And he's been looking all over for him. He's been looking for him. He glock, he been looking for Glock this whole the last two episodes. And here he is. Right here. Yep. Yeah, so EJ, what did you think about the fact that I mean, Meech was peeping in and seeing them around, but I don't think he really know, knew who was who. And Tina kind of clarified it for him like, you see that necklace? And then, you know, Pops had me laughing with this part too. He like, wait a minute, you two know each other? <laughs> what did you think about this whole interaction? I thought and it was. What, uh, oh, go ahead. And what, what? What were you going to say? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I thought it was interesting, um, the whole situation. I like Tina. Like, I I, I really like her character. Uh, she keeping, you know, she keeping him on point with, like, and she's very perceptive of of things. And I like how Meech was perceptive, too. He was noticing and peeping out stuff, but he wasn't quite sure exactly what was what. But Charles, Charles, Charles wasn't peeping nothing. He just going with, he just there having fun. But I think that it was an interesting moment because we do get to see this moment where Meech is really trying to protect his father, you know, and and I didn't know if he was going to handle business in front of his father. He tried to get him to go away, but he wouldn't go away. And in this moment, I was like, OK, Charles, look at Charles. You know what I'm saying? And when Charles threw that punch, I was here for it. But I'm glad we finally found Glocka. Yeah, about time he over here playing hide and seek. Moochie, what you thought about this? <laughs> I thought you it was a me- good oh. I thought it was a good scene. I thought it was funny when he said, Yes, you should do like your son says and do the right thing. <laughs> when he said that, I was like, oh, okay. But it was a good thing that the fight broke out first where they saw it was about to be on and popping. So I, I, I want to see where this goes. I want to see how this is hashed out and who what's going to happen with this. Because now he knows that Greeny is working with this guy and he knows where he's getting his money. He's no, He knows too much about his business. And uh-huh. this is not good. Yep. Yeah, he definitely was trying to enjoy himself. But listen, Charles got in there and started fighting too. Of course, we had them red dogs. Come in and break everything up. And then fake Tupac was fighting too. So <laughs> it was a mess. But um, 
Child, he going over here now. This one made me laugh too. I swear I was rocking with Terry for like two seconds when she was like, What you doing coming in my house? And he was like, This is my house. I said, He damn right, Terry. Let him know. Then he just mm -hmm. went right after that. <laughs> but, but it didn't it didn't last for the second. Right. <laughs> so you know, anybody want to add anything with this scene? I think we done talked them in the ground already. We already know more. Yes, <laughs> she yeah. pissed me off though. It's obvious that the house is in her name, and that's the only way he could have got the house. That's why she she basically like you know flipped the script on him after she got what she wanted. He played her. I mean, she played him rather. She played, played him. Yeah, she played yeah, him like yeah. He, he got yeah, a whole he, house out of this deal. And and yet, yeah, what's her name is still living in the hood. Yeah, and that's the crazy and part. She got two babies with him, or almost yeah, a, ba a baby and a half. You know. I don't, yeah. I don't know how it was in her name because when he goes and he talks to her about it, he's telling her about it being an. That's the only father. thing I could think of. He not working. I mean, he yeah, he's because he, he gotta have. Stuff. Well, he I have think the only job. reason why I think the only reason why he could probably get away with it, but I don't know if they because he because came into the lawsuit? settlement. Yeah, he came into the settlement, and then they had the car company. He could get away with it with. And he looked like but he if not, it definitely got to be in her name, if not. Didn't and he, he cash out with the, the car thing. company, though? Once the girl got arrested and all of that stuff? Yeah, I, I think they were going to leave name. town. Yeah, I think so. You're right. Yep. But he also has a legitimate business, though, too. So yeah, now restaurant. he got the restaurant, too, so that helps. Because yeah, you like know they're going to want to know where his funds is coming from. That's right. definitely going to be a factor. So so yeah. he, he I still think that's his house, though. Yeah, I do too because she didn't know about it. He went to her and said, and said, you know, that I just bought this house and it's an escrow. She would have to know about it if it was in her name, if it was an escrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, who knows? He was telling her everything else. Sure. He's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did y'all think about the love, Doctor Honey? Oh, mm. <laughs> he done went mm. and bought her some popcorn, some of her favorite popcorn she used to have back in Cleveland. Okay. Tamika, I think that this is red flags all around about what you were saying earlier about not knowing people. I'm sorry, but it's like you always say, you always talk about how people be sending a representative. I feel like this is a big old representative showing up right here. And I don't think that this dude is really like that. And I feel like it's going to be a situation where she's going to find that out that he's not who she thinks he is. And I don't know how it's all going to play out, but I just don't like something ain't right about him. And he just too, he doing too much. Right, right. Well, and I she think she's the I, one that I, got I think, away. And I think even if she <laughs> do sleep with him, he gonna sleep with her and then toss it to the side. He not he um. So you think he gonna hit it and quit it? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, absolutely. If, 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 if they, if they absolutely, because if, yeah, if he, he never so. got it, then he wanna get it, and once he got it, he gonna be gone. I'm telling well, you, he, he gonna hit it and quit it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I think. So. I don't think she making no good decisions. I hope then he gave her a check. Now at this time we didn't know idea. how much the check was, but he said yeah. he was giving her. I this thought it was said a thousand dollars. I went back and looked child. at it at ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -mm -mm. Now I like this part too, baby, because at first I thought it was Lawanda knocking at the door. We want to be over here reminiscing, talking about, oh, remember when I came with this flower to you? Who I thought I was? Boo boo boo. And Lucille said, get your head out that cool. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. He needs to. Uh, he's not listening to nobody. <laughs> he, just, he gets on my nerve, y'all. Really do. I mean, I'm I'm and I understand why I'm this hating is him more and more. I'm hating this character more and more. If this is what's really happening. I'm hating this character more and more. Yeah, Marquisha, I, I, Marquisha. I understood <laughs> that um that was very triggering for Lucille because she grew up in foster care, so she knows about it from that end, you know, mm -hmm. as well. Now, what I found interesting is Terry says to her, 
I know, Ma, that's why I'm working on this. You see how fast I got the apartment together so that way they can see he got somewhere stay, safe to stay. But, Terry, is that really what you was doing? Because how you was bringing no. Marquisha up sure. here trying to get in them cheeks. A okay. Exactly. Well, now you got this house house with a fireplace like this in it and you got a little baby. <laughs> Where he walking around? He can't walk around he, with he's this. Not think, he's not really thinking like that. He's not. Yeah, thinking. he ain't gonna be thinking about all that. Definitely not. They already still. got the lady coming in. You gonna put? You gonna mm -hmm. buy and get an apartment with a fireplace? And you know darn well you was getting this as your bachelor pad. Yeah, supposedly a bachelor pad. But at the same time, I am happy that he have a place of his own and he wasn't staying there at Marquisha house or I mean well going back running over there or going to stay at Lawanda with her mama house. Uh -huh. He need his own place. Yeah, he, he definitely does. He mm -hmm. needs to pick places with with uh Marquisha since we just don't you know let since we just gotta you know right help her pay for a place to live since we just gotta take care of her. We yeah, because like, what about my kids? Have, she not have gonna let two that kids. House the kids should be in a house. <laughs> mm -hmm. you no, know, man, not, you know, so. Yeah, she absolutely. Not let that house go for no Yeah, because I don't never see my kids with her damn kids. So. No. That's what I was gonna say, too. Thank hey. you for reminding me, Inga. She talking about, oh, my kids is going. I said, girl, did you ever go get them? Have you even seen them yet? I still gonna yeah. keep asking this every episode because That's she already true. didn't have them before. She act like if they came and then she sent them back or something. I said, girl. I know we ain't them. seen them kids since last season. <laughs> we haven't seen them children since last season. They you ain't never got her. your kids. So <laughs> they ain't even come up to the hospital to see their mama. Right. Come on, Lala. Stop playing these types of roles. I am so mm -mm. sick of so finally, you know, we have this conversation. Oh, sorry, y'all done jumped too fast. We mm -hmm. almost done. Um, we have the conversation with Charles and Meach coming home from, you know, uh the family affair, Jack the Rapper, whatever. And you know, he does decide to go with this. What y'all thought about that? I mean, they've had this conversation before, it wasn't necessarily new, but I think they was kind of just being able to bond a little bit more and understand a little bit more where each other's, you know, coming from, what their perspectives was. What you think, Moochie? I like the chat that they had on the way home. I mean, on the way back from, um, you know, getting the house and all of that. And, I mean, well, that was after Jack the Rapper, so he was kind of pissed off, like, y'all messed this up, too. I like that he... I like that they brought that up because this is when the violence started coming. So I, I'm glad they're focusing. They 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 brought that to the attention. But what y'all think about this real estate girl that was giving the eyes to me, y'all? Y'all, mm -hmm. Charles, Charles, Charles caught it too. Charles caught it. Yeah, she sure enough was like, yeah. Let me know when I could come back over. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we hey, can Oh, she the one that hooked up the paperwork and everything. Yeah, right. she's trying to mm -hmm. that Chris and that yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably already did something or they about to do something. So, mm -hmm. hey, Monique Nicole. I mean, but Meech is a very charismatic person. Yes. He has a gift of gab. He, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's attractive to, you know, a lot of women. So mm -hmm. that, um, I can see why he was the leader in everything. I do see it. Oh, you know? Angela says, I saw Marquisha buy up and she left the kids on her mom and dad. I could believe it, child. Mm. <laughs> mm, I believe it, yeah. EJ, you got anything to add to this? Um, I really like this conversation that Charles and Meech had. And I really feel like we're finally seeing, because I know I remember saying in the first thing that I didn't ever see a time where Charles would accept anything from Meech. But, you know, I stand corrected because what I am seeing is Charles finally uh, coming to the conclusion that Meech, because, you know, he even said it earlier that he may not respect what he does or he may not like what he does, but he does respect how hard he works at what he does. And it's like Meech is just trying to take care of his family the way he saw his father take care of his family, but just in a different way. And his dream is not his dream. You know, his dream is to be what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And I finally feel like Charles is accepting it to a point where he is understanding that this is just who his son is and and now they can move forward with their relationship and i really thought that that was a good i thought that was a good scene for them to show charles having this moment right i agree i like the father and son um i like seeing fathers and sons together anyway so 
I, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. But by him putting his name on the uh, house, uh, a sign, co sign or whatever for the house, uh, that was what jammed him up down the road later on, you know. Mm -hmm. the, 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 yeah. yeah. In the, yeah. Mm -hmm. That did jam him up, so. And I do think that sometimes people be forgetting that this is still an adaptation, you know, even though it's based off of it. So they're going to change some stuff up. Right. People, oh, of course. People yeah. be in the comments going crazy over, you know. Oh, some, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Change some stuff up. Yeah. I mean, they had right. to, they. They, well, it's right at the beginning of the thing. He said this stuff is fictional. Right, but it might be real. Right, so it says right at the beginning. So it, it's and, once but, it says loosely but, based, they mm -hmm. they already telling you they're gonna ex exercise their creative rights. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like yeah. y'all know it's, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they did with Snowfall and mm -hmm. other shows too. So I, I yeah. just hope they don't destroy it like they just Snowfall. So y'all, breathing oh, finally yeah. gets the beat down he deserves. I actually wanted him to get more than this, but I'll take it for yeah, now. Me too. I wanted I was more like than this. this what was yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the fact that this girl is sad because people really be this way in real life. Yeah, like him sitting there telling her to repeat. Oh God, I just can't. What do y'all think about yeah, this trash? I, I was glad he got snatched out and got his wig pushed back and got beat up. Well, he didn't get his wig pushed back, but he got he got beat up and got that little. I like what Duffy did to him. I was like with the with the, with the, yeah. With the bottle. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah, I wish they had did more with that bottle. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be easy. I don't care. <laughs> That's why he say what I'm Yeah, because when me when me said like one more thing and I'll turn your water off. And if you do another thing after that, I'm turning something else over however he said it. And Duffy was like, Why not now? I was with Duffy, like, let's get rid of this dude. You don't get no more chances. And then he got the nerve to be yelling after them. Talking about this ain't over. I, oh child, I can't. And then that's another thing I forgot to mention about Glock. You know, for how Big and bad, he was acting because they kept being like, we got to find this Bruce Wayne to the Batman. Nobody really knew who he was. He always had his men out front, and he's saying how dumb Americans are. But yet he told on Greeny in 2.5 seconds. Wow. I know it was quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why, like, you know how when they show, like, they make such a big deal out of somebody? Mm -hmm. And then once we, once we see the stereo break down, they really not all of that? Mm -hmm. Are they gonna? You think they're gonna do that with this character? Mm. I think he did that to show to like I because he I mean Greeny ain't nothing to him, but he was just using him. You know what I'm saying? So I think mm -hmm. he, I think he did that just to show him how he he was infiltrated. I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying? Like how exposed he already was. Like I just felt like that was just his way of saying. And by the way. Da, 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 da. I mean, he didn't have to, but I feel like he did it on purpose. I feel like he knew exactly what he was doing because he didn't care nothing about Granny. And to go back to the girl, I feel you on that one, Tamika. That was hard to watch right there. That was so hard to watch because you are right. It's so many times where that's real. That that is really real life. When somebody gets you, when you feel, when someone feels like someone else saved them or did certain things for them and people get that mind control. I think that's yeah. why they had all these warnings. You know, they had all the warnings when it came on. Yes, so, I, those warnings came up immediately. So I knew it was going to be something. And there was another part that I didn't even bother showing the clips for. That was absolutely disgusting and they didn't need that in there either with um Henry. Uh, I, I can't. I'm so was, tired of it. That was I'm freaking so horrible. Oh, horrible. yes. Yeah, I'm I didn't like that either. I'm, really, I'm, I, I'm so sorry, I don't like that. That's why they had the character. warnings up. Yeah. Or, 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 that was not cool at all. I don't care. I don't understand why him is even round. Why, you know. <clears throat> so, yeah, I definitely do want to see um him get his um, Brian goes and sees his son, and this just pissed me off. I feel like we know he full of crap. Kevin know he full of crap. Like, I know you know, we all know. Everybody seems to know, but Brian, he really over here. Yeah, you got help coming now, and I got people that's looking out for you, and you know, everything gonna be all right. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to slap the mess out of him. Kevin said, yeah, lawyer. whatever, bro. There's the lawyer. Yeah, like... And that's, and that's 
If he ain't bringing no lawyer in there, then why are you showing up there? It's not. I mean, no, about. he better show up. He need to go see this boy. He this is this is up. like a, a a traumatizing thing for this kid. He ain't never been in no trouble. Not like this. No, he yeah. better show up. Yeah, this is. Yeah, you still want to talk? Now you want to talk to him about this superhero stuff? Right. That's the stuff that's pissing me off. Bruiser got help for you. Like, get yeah, out of here. Out of here. <laughs> I don't I don't predict that um little Kevin gonna make it out this um yeah. I think by episode five he's gone. So mm. not could well, be could, wrong. Nah, but you could already tell that he was really traumatized. Yeah. It was yeah. and he already felt hopeless. Uh, there wasn't that, and, and, you know, even in the past when we first saw him, when he was in the single cell, he still had this little glimmer of hope and this light of hope. And all the hope had been drained out of him. Anything that was left is gone. So I, I am fully on board with your uh, theory. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I've been saying that too. <laughs> I agree with Mucci. I see that. I didn't think he was going to last soon as he was sending him in there and he didn't even know what the heck was going on. Like, it is no, ridiculous. I'm yeah, I'm surprised he still, he left. Uh, yeah. He stayed, he's here this long, be honest mm -hmm. with you. So. You mean to tell me all of that, you couldn't, you couldn't, you don't, you don't know nobody that's a CEO and you was a cop, but you could be like, yo, right. solid, that's what I'm saying. Boy, put this boy about himself. But exactly. I don't, I think he's young enough where he's not even like in like the he, he's in like reform. He's, he must be hated in the department. He must oh, be he hated. is because <laughs> no, because he don't have nobody in um you know that would look out for him and say, look, that's my son. Look, check you know, look out for him, make sure he's right. Cool. I mean, uh -huh. I was hated. They, he ain't got nobody to have his back. He couldn't Ooh, even touch right. his son. They was like no touching. Right. Mm -mm. What's up, Detroit Kings? So I don't know, y'all. Look like one of my slides was missing too because we actually had um Hoop come back and tell Terry like everything that went down and the fact that the pe the cops was involved and that Bryant was there. So it's like, oh, Bryant over here messing with Henry Han. Huh? Then of course they say cuts. You know, he's solid. He ain't gonna say nothing. I don't know because they 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 was already watching cuts. I'm just saying. And now they, they got, got, got caught. Right. Mm -hmm. So um you know, this leads him of course to come talk to Bryant because first thing he thinking, hey, if you out here in the streets anyway, why are you messing with Henry? You might as well be on the winning team. <laughs> um, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Like, you oh, know dumb. that he's not going to mess with you. Like, he will do, he will mess with anybody else before he mess with y'all. Like, I really thought that that was another arrogant moment for Terry. Like, mm -hmm. the audacity for you to think that you could go to Bryant and ask him this and further put yourself in um in any type of like in any mm -hmm. type of because he's already out to get you why would you even feed him even more reasons you know what i'm saying you acting like he gonna be off the department for good you acting like like you're you oh, that irritated me I, <laughs> I was so frustrated with that yeah um muji i just think with, with him going here now this was the wrong thing for Terry to do. You go in here and you poking the bear, and now him and Henrietta is working together. You knew this going there. You mm -hmm. knew this going there. You're gonna go in and poke the bear. I don't understand him. He really thought he was gonna get Brian to flip and come back to him after everything that's happened. Like, what like. Yeah, it was the audacity for me. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I was cracking up because he was just sitting outside just as cool as a cucumber by that car. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, how's, well, I was my laughing little, too. how's my little man doing? <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> laughing too. I was like, this one. And he I was said, you too. gonna get down or lay down, okay? You can we spend so much time worrying you about over. me and Terry and you still ain't talked to no lawyer. Exactly. He said they, I mean, they have a lawyer. He says they have a lawyer. He said that. Yeah, but the lawyer ain't get there yet, child. He, exactly. on, he on the way. He on the way, yeah, like every product on the way. Yeah, he's stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he on the way. You ain't even paid a deposit. We ain't even seen no man. Yeah, he's what stuck, you in, the lawyer. He's stuck in traffic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I me, mean, this is this is just no, I like cracked a, up laughing. a I'm joke now, for real. Um, 
doing these scenes. But of course, he tells Terry, you know, run me over. You're going to have to run me over. Yeah, that's, we don't mind running you over, Brian. So anyway, um, you know, Charles come home. He all happy and dancing. And Lucille give him the breakdown update of what's going on with, you know, the CPS being called. And I said, well, damn, Charles and Meech had time to take a picture, get it freaking, um, what do you call it? Developed. That's Developed. What I thought I put it in a, I mean, put it in a frame, honey. He was looking at the picture all smiling. I thought he was about to pull out the clock sister shirt. When he pulled out the picture, I said, Well, damn. Oh, he had that clock sister shirt. He was gonna give it to him. <laughs> he but, had it, but she she acted right. like she wasn't giving him no she rhythm. Like, no, she yeah, yeah. Always, you know. She said she, was, she like, was I going forgot to she was coming here tonight. Yes. Always thank always. <laughs> so he notices something hanging out her purse, and baby, when I seen those digits, I said, "What case is the doc paying for?" And he like, uh -huh. she get, you know what he thinking? Uh -huh. Me and Charles had the same face. Uh, and she, she gonna sleep ten thousand dollars. Did, she, get, with did she give up some coochie? She gonna sleep with him. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. think she is. I don't mm -mm. think she is either. I don't we'll think she see. is either. She's going to tell Charles it's none of his business, though. Yep. That's none but of their business. She needs to would... get that check back. $10,000. That's Doc, you need to um split. What you need to give me some of that. Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, I see a thousand dollars to the church. No That's ten thousand dollars. Unless yeah. he give it directly to the preacher. Like, don't right. give it to me. Like, this yeah, ain't exactly. for me. Uh, nothing like that because you don't need nobody having no expectations for you know what I'm saying like people are people you know how they was back then people, and, and still are shit not even just back then they still now, are they still are you know I'm <laughs> single I'm not married so if anybody want to send me ten thousand dollars for a big sale you can't so you're being so you're being it to me a big enough some cake Hey, yeah, hey, I'll um, bake up some cakes with ten thousand dollars. A big sweet potato with a big something. sweet potato or a carrot. Still, the jury's uh, still out on that. Making a carrot cake or a sweet right. potato. Yeah. <laughs> that girl couldn't bake no way. Miss T said, "Yes, nothing is, free. nothing is free. That's a fact." Okay, even if she don't give mm -hmm. him anything, to kill you. Try to get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even the check is for the church. I wouldn't let you just said because you was right. I, I mean, I think you're going to be right that she might not give him any, she might not give up the goods, but he gonna try to get it, and that's when you're gonna see the uh, we're gonna see something wrong with this doc. That's what I think. Ooh, she's I, gonna I see that now. he's not as kind as she thinks he is. She's gonna see mm -hmm. the real deal. Mm -hmm. Do, do y'all think that he's gonna get physical with her? I hope not, but I could okay. see that. But that's what I think. I don't, I, oh, I, that's what I, think, I don't want I'm it. telling y'all if it happens, y'all gonna beat feet. the brakes Come off on. of him. No, we can see some hands and feet. Let's go on and get a fight going. <laughs> yeah, Charles gonna beat the brakes off of him. We already see Listen, he got a hammer yeah. too. Look, one thing you know, we Charles know. got the hammer too, Moochie. I just right. said, we already <laughs> see he got a good one too. One thing we know is that in every episode, we're going to see Meech throwing some damn hands if we don't see nothing else. And we know Charles don't mind fighting. I could see Charles going over there and, you know, one, two, one, two, real quick on Doc. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me find out he's going to be, um, you know, beating the brakes off of mm -hmm. Dr. Maurice Montclair. Dr. So... <laughs> Finally, y'all, we are coming to the end. I know we went over the hour. Of course, the name of the episode was Sanctuary, and we got two perspectives of how this is not really being a sanctuary right now. Even though Meech told her she's safe now, she good, and we talking about the gated community and everything. He said that that's all, you know, false, right? It really is no such thing. So when did Meech say it was the first time he got a good night rest? Put it in the chat. Okay. <laughs> I don't forget now. Oh, sure. You might put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Moochie now. I know, right? I'm going to give them some out, questions. <laughs> Miss T said, Charles is going to have to fight to prove his love. So you can just sit there. <laughs> I know, right? That's how I'm going to Every night, I got to fight to prove my love. <laughs> my love. That's right. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be a fight. Oh, so. God. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, sometimes I yeah. think Charles forget that he ain't he and Lucille on bad terms when he came up in that house with that dance. I said, Charles, did you forget? Yes, that you Charles was feeling good. He, baby. Was saying, he came in there. He came he in. Figured he figured she calmed down by now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yep. yeah, yeah, y'all was y'all was paying attention, and I thought that was so interesting that he said that. Like, I, I he said all of the uh, it could be mansions, it could be a gated community, whatever. He still he had to learn it the hard way. He basically said mm -hmm. the only time he got a good night rest was when he was in jail. I said, well, damn. And at the same time, Terry is saying, um, you know, I'm in my hometown. I stayed home thinking I'm gonna be around friends and family, but now, you know, without my brother, I don't have no sanctuary. So they both was kind of in the same space at the same time. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, Which I think cool. I found Angel. Like y'all think that she gonna make it? Like or do y'all think Granny I'm scared for her. I'm scared for her. I'm scared for her too. I'm scared yeah. for her. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all, that was the episode. You ladies have any final thoughts, any predictions, anything y'all want to talk about before we go ahead and, you know, tell the people what y'all got coming up and everything like that. Thank y'all. We done had from 80 to 90 people hopping in and out of the tonight, rocking with us. Mm -hmm. Definitely appreciate all of y'all for coming through. Moochie, any thoughts? Um, what you want to see or what you think you're going to see. We know Meech is going to be home in Detroit, so we know that much. Well, we're going to see the, the jealousy with... I, I think we're going to see an argument with Terry and Meech because he's going to be like, how you messed this up? I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. he He's going to find out what's going on and that whole beef with Detective Brian and him going there. I just want to see what kind of argument we're going to see with Terry and Meech. Is this going to be the thing where he going to have to, you know, look, you making things too hot here where we can't even come back and forth no more. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Inga, what you think? Um... Well, I'm glad to see Meech on the, on the trailer. I saw that Meech is going to be coming back Mm -hmm. And everybody's gonna be happy to see Meech because they just not rocking with Terry. <laughs> yeah, so they're not rocking with Terry. So everybody's gonna be so happy that you know they it's almost like Jesus came back, you know. <laughs> but when they see when they see Meech, so uh, hopefully that Terry will start working side by side with his brother and stop this competition thing. Right. You know. Yeah. So, but it, it's gonna it's, things are still gonna go left. <laughs> you know, I'm here for it. I'm here for the jokes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. EJ? Um, I'm just excited for this season. I, I like a lot of action stuff, and it feels like it's going to be some action every single episode. feels like it's going to be either be a fight, somebody going to be shooting, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here for all the shooting and for the fighting stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely here for that. I uh, listen. I just y'all know it's gonna be a party when Stax and Greenie get taken out, baby. We gonna yes, party. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna see if he's gonna take out Greenie. Like, is that gonna happen? Or is mm -hmm. he it, 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 is, is that the end of Greenie? We're not gonna see him no more. What y'all uh, think? Yeah, yeah, what y'all think about the Marcus questions and why would I mean, no, would y'all be mad if Henry hurt Marquisha? Mm. Hell no, I wouldn't no, be mad. I, I won't be. She you don't even burn have her up Marcus with that flamethrower. She, and she might try to sleep with her. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. I would not be mad. You know what at I all. said? Mm -hmm. She might try to sleep with her. Who knows? She could chop her with oh, that yeah, knife. Right. She could throw the flame burner on whatever. I don't care. Yeah, we... that's right. Yeah. No one's gonna be upset. I mean, I shouldn't say no one. I won't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Terry will be the only one crying about that, but Lawanda might get to her ass before Henry gets. <laughs> I would like to see Lawanda put some hands and feet on it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, Booby Traps? What's going on? What's up, Booby? And I hope that, uh, hey, Booby, I hope that Henry is done with after, after this season. I don't want to see another season of this character. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly don't see her lasting long, but you never know. I don't see her father lasting long either. 
Mm. You, I mean, you know how they be doing with these things, but you know, Do think we'll that see. And we haven't seen, under the bus? Um, we haven't seen Remy in a minute either. I yeah. mean, if it came down to it, but. Right now, he need them, so he probably gonna be trying to do what he can to protect them. Which I get it because I know the bigger picture is he's supposedly trying to save Kevin, but then I also get what Terry is saying, where it's like you're so judgmental and hating us and blaming us for everything when you made the choice to work with us and was getting money from us. Which I still don't understand what he did with the money he was making from them, and now That's you just went saying. to another. It I just don't add I'm not up for understanding me. all of that. Where did his money go? Yeah, a hypocrite. He been a hypocrite yeah. since we first met him. You know, mm -hmm. first met this yeah. Like you can't all of a sudden at one point it's all good, and then all of a sudden now you want to pull back from it. You done done too much. You done seen mm -hmm. too much. like absolutely ain't no turning back. <laughs> <laughs> Ingo with this hand, <laughs> And the red you, run your you know, Moochie um, yeah. always like a good cat face. I like, yes. I just look, look good face in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, oh, we, God. if they're going to make it ridiculous, just make it all the way ridiculous. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. Lord. So, Moochie, what you got coming up, girl? What's going on? Well, I will be doing the trailer breakdown tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm gonna put my review up. I still gotta edit it. Um, I don't know. I doubt it if I put it up because I felt like I said what I had to say about this episode. I don't really, I didn't really care for it like that. But um, yeah, check me out tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing that, and I got a couple of other things coming. So please keep y'all notifications on, all right? And holla at your girl, Ew. <laughs> okay, Inga. The people. What can the people expect from y'all? Check out Inga's um shorts, y'all. They have me cracking up. She don't went on, in on them about this Tupac, and she said she might be doing a new segment. <laughs> yeah, She's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's some people that just got this on my nerve on all these shows that I might have to just do a whole rant to just throw people in the furnace, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but on this see on this uh particular show, it's a whole bunch of people that need to go burn up in that furnace. <laughs> you know, we didn't we didn't get a chance to see that furnace in the Razor Canaan. So I needed to see some action with that. <laughs> see that furnace. So we shall see. It's, it's coming soon. Yeah, I'm with you there. EJ, shout out to EJ, the TV junkie. She just got 7,000 subscribers, okay? Ooh. She put the B in boss. She be out here doing her thing. <laughs> what you I'm got going that, on, You putting EJ? in that work. Yes, congratulations. And shout out to Brillo, the big review, too. He was my person of the week, the plug, you know, the recipe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up to everybody in the chat first and foremost? Appreciate everybody coming out. Appreciate all the love you guys are showing out here to, to the ladies. Um, you know, showing up each and every week when we do our reviews and our movies. Even sometimes y'all don't even see the movie, but y'all still come through. So I we appreciate that so much. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yeah, so I just, um, let's see, what's today? Monday, Sunday? Okay, yeah, Monday. Monday. So... Wednesday, we have our Ruthless Roundtable for anybody who watches Ruthless. We'll be doing that. Of course, we'll have, you know, regular reviews uh, for Ruthless and for BMF this week. And then um, I have my, I think I, I'm going to do a movie review. I still have to do my other review that I have put up. And I have like a couple of other things that are going to be coming out. So just keep your notifications turned on. Um, I'm going to try to do way more content. but. Um, and let's see, did I just do something else? No, nah, I don't think I posted See, that's it. why she got the seven, uh, 7K. All that content, she putting it out there. Girl, Go I ahead, need girl. more content. But yeah, that's all I got going on this week. We'll see, see what goes down. And then as always, guys, you know, if you want to support your girl, I do have ready-made merch on my website strictlyopinionated.com so I do have cups and stuff like that and if y'all are power fans I actually do have a power cup up there too so definitely check it out yeah she's listen she got the shirt she got the hat there go my all the queens men cup okay 
Make sure y'all ordering this stuff. I'm still waiting for my rock shirt that says everybody wanna, you know, who was know, it? I got, I got want to the, wanna shirt. blame me and want me to answer. Mm -hmm. However, it go, y'all know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, exactly. That's right. Well, right now we need it's Terry's fault. It's all Terry's fault. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. hates Terry. <laughs> yeah, every, that's it. That's shirt. it right there. Everybody <laughs> hates Terry. Everybody hates Terry. We gonna make that one happen. I can make that one happen. Yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah. God. So yeah, yeah. I don't got too much going on right now. You know, I had a little personal stuff happening, and most of my shows is on break right now. So I'm kind of taking time out for you know self care for myself, as I'm always telling y'all. But I will still be doing BMF, and I'll be with the ladies. And I think it's gonna be trivia night Saturday unless something happens. And just gonna be kind of cool in it, but I'll still be here. Okay. <laughs> and we got um Foxy Brown coming the fourth Sunday. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure y'all tune be in for it's that. Be okay. <laughs> definitely. Everybody definitely. Got for that. Yeah, congrats to Detroit King too. He reached 500 subs. Okay, he working his way on up. <laughs> So, all right, y'all. We're going to say good night on that note. We're going to catch y'all on the next one. See y'all around. Y'all like, like my hair, y'all. Yeah, say <laughs> bye to Inga and her hair. Okay, she came through stunting on them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to make y'all laugh. I never wait until everybody come on and just boom. <laughs> yes, definitely did. That made my night. All right, y'all. <laughs>